Hello, my name is Stephanie, the creative girl behind the designs. Welcome back to my channel and thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to be doing a um, small break from the planner pages, but it is still planner related. And um, I'm going to be doing a project or technically eight projects. Um, they're going to be quick. I, I set everything up. I think I've got everything to be able to go through them and show you what I'm doing. So um, that's what we're going to do today. So stay tuned. Okay, so today um, I have missed a video day. Um, I had a dental appointment that I scheduled a little too soon, wasn't prepared for. Um, so that kind of threw me off. So my whole week has been between that and getting prepared for the holidays. Because as you know, I set up my craft room Christmas tree. So the tree is up, y'all. I'm telling you, it is. I love, 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 love this tree. You can see it out on my blog. Um, I have posted a blog post about it before. I have a flocked tree. So it has like that snowy white stuff on it. And let me tell you, it, I love it, but it is such a mess. <laughs> the dust that gets everywhere is just ridiculous. So I got the tree up. I pulled out my ornaments and so forth. Um, so that's on the list to do. But as a result, as you know, I had to take down a desk. So I'm now doing everything on my project table. And that's been quite challenging um, between you know, office work. So like, you know, bills and things of that nature, crafting, planning, um, actually preparing the crafts. If I'm doing a video on it or a blog post, um, photos for blog posting photos. And, and, you know, if you're familiar, just the list goes on. So I have all that going on in this little old space here. And I say little because I do have things on it, um, that kind of get in the way. So my entire craft room is in, um, you know, just the throes of um, a mess, to put it nicely. <laughs> so I have everything everywhere. I don't know if I even have an inch of walking space, um, but I'm working on it. So the things I'm doing, the reason I'm telling you that is because the things I'm going to do today are things that have been laying around <laughs> my, my craft room. You know, they've been moved to different locations throughout the craft room. Um, for probably a month, month and a half. So um, it's a due time and I need to get them done. Now, the reason I'm doing these on video for you today is because these are crafts that are craft room related. They, they're something I have planned to do. I had a plan. I purchased the items. I had mapped out what I wanted to do. And... Um, I need to get them off my floor and I need to get them into my craft room because they are craft room organization. So this is all about dollar store finds that I have picked up that I am going to be incorporating into my craft room organization as I continue. And as most of us do, you know, craft room organization isn't just a one and done kind of thing. As you grow, as you change, uh, you either find better better methods or you need to find more space or less space and so forth. So that's what we're going to do today. So this is my craft project book, as you know. Um, it is the Happy Planner 2023 Miss Maker uh, collection. This was the notebook and I turned it into a project book. So, which is why I brought this out because, come on, it's just, look at this. I love the rainbow. Okay, enough sing song. <laughs> Let's get down to business. So I'm going to move this out of the way and we're going to dive right in. I've got eight planned for today. I've had, let's see, um, 11 crafts laying around my office. Probably 12 if I really want to be technical about it. And we're going to do eight of them today. So let me move this. Okay, so if you haven't guessed... It is a Cricut craft or organization. It's it's not it's a craft, but it's organization. I was in desperate need of doing a few change ups to my uh, organization systems, so uh, that's kind of what I'm going to be doing. Let me pull out um, 
Let me get out the first one here. Let me pull out the easiest ones. Let me get these here. All right. So first up are these two. Now, everything I'm going to show you today in this video is going to be dollar store finds. So you can get all of these at the dollar store. I don't know if they will um, have them for a very long time. All I can tell you is that I did get them from the dollar store. So I found these two really pretty, um, they're sort of fluted. Uh, they're like a teal color. They're glasses. And I thought, the first thing I thought of is these would make cute watercolor water paint cups. So I can put the water in, I can have it clean, I can have it dirty. And that's what I did with my Cricut. I made a, let me put this right so you're reading it correctly. <laughs> I did a clean and a dirty in white. I used permanent. And um, so let me just review this quickly. Uh, when I do Cricut, there is the Cricut, I think it's called spatula, maybe. Um, it works great and I do use it. Sometimes though, I will revert to this because it's flexible, it's plastic. Um, it's not as harsh as this sometimes. So I may use that on this case. Now, the other thing you should always do if you can is pre-wipe them with some alcohol. So all I'm gonna do is I got this, I'll link everything in the description box. I have this little bottle of alcohol. I'm going to spray it so I don't get it on my desktop. Okay. So I just have a little alcohol on here, and I'm just going to rub the edge of the bottle, or the, the container. And all this is doing is it's getting off all the oils and the grease, you know, if people pick them up and touch them. It just helps the vinyl stick to it a little bit better. So <clears throat> I don't want to get this on me, so let me... Um, find a place to set this. <laughs> All right, I'm going to set it here. Hopefully this will, again, I am really in transition, so there's like a lot going on in, in a very little space. Okay, so I pre-wiped down everything, and then I've, in this case, I've already weeded out the um, negative space from the white. I saw in all these, I've used white permanent vinyl, Cricut vinyl, it is glossy, so permanent tends to be glossy, and removable is you can usually find in a matte color. So all I'm gonna do is kind of get these onto my transfer tape. I'm gonna make sure that they're on there. And then I can get these on the jars, as long as I can get them off the back. So the reason I pre- did most of the weeding is because I wanted to be able to um, not take up too much time, but show you all the fun things I'm gonna do. Now with my transfer tape, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a reuser all the time I'm reusing, and sometimes it doesn't grab. I probably should have used a strong bond with the permanent, and I just realized I left the E in there. I'll see if I can get that off. Um, but this is, let's see, we got C-L-E-A. I got one more to go. Um, yeah, I probably should have used the strong bond with permanent. But for some reason, I grabbed the, um, the removable. Or is it called removable? I'm not even sure. Let me see if I can get this out of the eye without damaging there we or the E, not the eye. Which is another challenge. If you do cricket, is um making sure you don't lose your eyes. <laughs> the dot on your eye. Okay, so here's this. It's very um sticky. But for permanent. I did miss these and I'm not sure how. Um, I'm going to try and get this one off. This is the A. Well, that worked out perfectly as long as this doesn't come off on my finger, which it is doing. You know, sometimes you can plan. Oops. And the litter came off. Um, and then not everything goes to plan. 
Is this still straight? Yes, it's straight. Okay. I'm going to fix this. There. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to get these little pieces out of the way. So now what I have is, and being a reuser of the transfer tape, it usually means that it's going to um, become less sticky over time. And I'm, I'm guilty of that. So I'm going to use one for clean and one for dirty. So I have this one as clean. I'm not overly worried about, you know, is it straight? Is it not? So here we go, if you can see that. And then let me just get some... Um, squeegee this on as you might say make sure I've got the letters pretty good now the nice thing about it being permanent is if I'm running it underwater and you may feel the camera jiggling I'm sorry about that um, I can wash this and it's gonna stay on you know even the removable is really very good you don't have to have to you don't have to worry too much about that okay so let's see and sometimes I got to go back and do it again and there you go. Look at that. So cute. Okay, so there's my clean. And I have, because you know, I, I was going to get rid of it, but you know, I just can't. So I'm going to keep that little piece of transfer tape. Uh, what do we got? Now we have the dirty. So again, I'm just going to burnish it onto the transfer tape. And I'm going to give this one a little bit extra because again, I didn't use the um, permanent or strong bond, not permanent. What am I talking about? Permanent vinyl, but I didn't use the strong bond uh, transfer tape. Let's get that right. So I think this one's probably going to give me the same problem. So when that happens, you know, so say you're in this case right here. All you have to do is as you're peeling back your layers, just make sure that your um, letters or, you know, symbols, whatever you're doing, are sticking down. You can usually get away with, you know, regular strength uh, transfer tape. You just have to make sure as you're flipping the paper back that it's sticking. That's all. Uh, okay. Yes, I thought I lost the eye on here, but I did not. All right, so we're just going to do this one too. Let's do here. Not that I would need to know which is dirty and which is not because, well, um, I can probably pretty much tell what's dirty, right? So this is, as I was saying, uh, this is this has been in my planner. Do these crafts, do these crafts. They've been laying around. I'll be so happy once I show them all to you um, that I'll be able to get them off of my to-do list. There we go. All right, let me put this down. So project one is finally completed. How cute is this? Clean and dirty, perfect for my water. So I'm just gonna kind of set those up there. Next we have, um, now, this I showed, I didn't show this. If you recall from my craft room tour, I have the um, gold, bot, gold, bot, gold dot fabric bins that pull in and out of the uh, Kalex cube. And I've got a couple of them around. When I got them, I had purchased some um, label holders from Target, they're silver. And I found these on Amazon and I kind of wanted to, this is the only non-dollar store. <laughs> I found it on Amazon and I wanted to put this on the bin because I feel like it's a little bit prettier. So again, I'm going to go through, I'm going to wipe this down since I've been touching it now. Just to clean it up a bit. So I'm only going to do one of these, but I will go through the entire craft room and all of my bins will be relabeled with this. Um, I just think it's fun. And so this is what I'm going to do. It's my Cricut product bin. Um, same now these. So this one isn't white. This one here is removable black matte 
um, which again, with removable, you can usually get the matte color. Um, I found that sometimes with the vinyl that you can get the, there's a certain color, let's say you want, and you may only be able to get it in permanent glossing, which is unfortunate, but I understand you can't have everything for everyone. So this particular one, I wanted to be able to see, I wanted to be able to read it, and I think this is going to do the job. So let's get this off of the backing. This one should come off fairly easy because this is the proper transfer tape for the um, removable vinyl. And here's why I used removable on this product or on these um, or why I want to use them on these tags is because um, if in time I needed to change my bucket or the the fabric bin maybe I wanted to change over what it was I will be able to remove this and put on a new title or contents so this here I'm going to hope to get as straight as I can and placed as centered as I can looks pretty good so I'm just kind of rubbing it on it first, and then I'm going to go over it with this. Um, and then this will replace my silver tag holder. And I think it just looks so much more prettier, right? Now, if you're wondering, again, I will link everything I can below. A lot of it I got from Amazon. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. This font is called... Um, I think it's BFC Blueberry Pancake. Uh, I love it because it looks sort of scripty, but it's not. And now look. Now my bin will have this really cute label on it. So I'm going to put this back here because, again, I'm not going to get rid of it. All right. I love that. So cute. Okay. Moving on, I'm gonna try and keep it rolling. Okay, so next is, um, let me move these things aside. So this is the little um, cover to this tip for the Cricut weeder. I always hold on to that and keep it on there because you'd be surprised the number of times you can stab yourself with that thing. All right, so next up is this tote here, or it's like a, it's an organizer case, as it says. And um, my plan for this, and I may, I'm going to need to go back and get another one. So my plan is to use this for, I have my little Cricut thing somewhere. Okay, and this is one we'll do together. This, and it has, let me open this so you can see. So it has like a few different length squares, longer pockets. Um, and I will clean that with my uh, napkin, but I'm going to use these for these things. These are like these little wood or chipboard um, uh, shapes. And so I love having these because when I do any kind of like journaling or anything of that nature, um, I love to be able to put it on there. And, and it doesn't, like it has a little bit of a, a bulk to it, but it's not terrible. So I'm just getting some because I know I'll forget. Let me see how I'm going to hold this here. And I'm just going to wipe down this space here just a little bit. Okay. I'm going to let that dry. And then this one we're going to weed out. And actually, as I finish these, I'll try and see how many I can keep in the film here, <laughs> or in the, the camera. So, this we're going to weed out. Now, I before I did anything, and I'm always afraid when I do these on camera because I'm like, you know, watch something go wrong. <laughs> That's always a big fear, I think, for anyone. But, you know, things are never perfect. They don't always work out uh, like this. So, the letter didn't quite come come off of the so sometimes you got to give it a little helping hand okay 
There we go. Um, ooh. See, it's like, are you like a quiet crafter? You know, like when you do your crafting or anything you do, like, do you like to just kind of get quiet and start working? I am. So if I kind of get quiet for a little while, you know why. But this one here, so far, just about, everything is coming off nicely. So this here is going to be labeled wood shapes. And the hardest part is just getting the letters weeded or the negative space weeded out. Sometimes with your letters, especially the eyes, you really do got to watch out for those because um, they do get lost in the shuffle sometimes. I've finished a project and realized I missed the eye, the dot on the eye. So um, be careful when you do that. So this is going to be something that I will be able to, and I am going to need another one because I have enough shapes that I don't think I can get them all into this. Uh, we have this. And again, I'm back with this one with a permanent white vinyl. I'm fairly certain I won't be changing this over to anything else. So I'm going to keep putting this back because I'm afraid if I don't, I'm going to forget it. Now, with this length, I'm going to need a new uh, length of transfer tape. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull this out here off to the side. Since I have uh, quite a bit, like for me, I like to use what I already have cut if I can. So we're going to measure. And then here's something fun I'm going to show you. Let me just get this down. And it's not going to stay that way, but that's okay. As a sidebar, just in case you're interested, Joanne Fabrics had, and these are probably all dusty again, there's dust everywhere. Joanne Fabrics had these holiday scissors. These are limited edition. These are gold sparkle. I couldn't pass those up. Uh, they're currently on sale. Not. So there's this one, and um, let me think what else was there. There was gingerbread, I think, uh, Christmas tree. So the gold came with a free um, sharpener for your blade. But the other ones, like the gingerbread one, came with a complimentary pair of scissors uh, that matched the color. Long sidebar, but... Come on, I love these. Look at these gold sparkles. Love it. Okay, so I'm gonna use that for this. I just need to see how much I need to cut, or should I do this? Yes, I can do it with this. That'll work fine. So I am going to go down. All I do is I just kind of, you know, set it up top. And I'm gonna cut down to here. Just so I have enough. And then this stays in my stash, um, and I just pick it up whenever I need to use it for something. Again, I reuse all the time. I reuse until I can't reuse no more. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so, um, and this is part of, like, you know, when I do the name badge on, on my planner page, same thing, vinyl. Um, let's see, this is a little piece of paper. Okay. So we are going to get this tape onto the words. I'm going to hold my little paper over there off to the side. I need to make sure that I get... And there's a little overhang, but I'm not too worried about it. Again, I probably should have used permanent, but that's okay. I can make this work. So basically what you're doing here is you're just making sure the letters stick to the transfer tape. And I'll be working extra hard with this because, well, I didn't use permanent or a strong bond transfer tape. So, but I can make this work. Oops. You just got to go a little bit slower to make sure your letters are coming off of the... Now, this might be working a little easier because it's brand new transfer tape. 
like my ones that I've reused and reused and reused, like they're a little bit harder to work with. Okay, so wood. And this, as I said, I'll need to get another one. And I'm hoping that they still have them because it would be a shame to not have the matching bin. The nice thing is these bins will also, um, or organizers, I should say, they're not really bins, will uh, fit perfectly in the recollections drawers. All right, so I'm pretty clean here. I'm just going to put them down. Let's see if I can get this straight while, while showing you. Let me make sure it's where I want it first. Okay, I think that's a good spot. All right, so let's do some burnishing. And then it's just gonna be so nice to really get all these things off my floor. I no longer have to trip over them. And now maybe I'll be able to finish my tree, right? I put the tree up, I still gotta decorate it. <laughs> and then the other thing that I came across was, um, I decided to change potentially the theme. Let me take this off again. Um, I kind of was thinking, so let me just back up here for a sec. So on these containers, there are these little holes that I'm gonna have to tuck this into. I think this would work. I will do that off screen just because I feel like this didn't, this wasn't as flat as I expected it to be. So let me grab my, um, as soon as I find it, see I moved it and now, now I need it. My, here we go, my other, my Cricut. Sometimes I need this to help flatten out the letters. So anyhow, I've been thinking of changing my look. I think I've had the tree, so for about two years, if I recall, two, three years maybe, um, the tree has been kind of, you know, like a black, pink, gold, white um, decor. And then this year, I kind of started getting into all this gingerbread stuff out there, right? Have you seen any of those? Like, it's a big thing. They're going viral everywhere. Uh, the gingerbread houses, the gingerbread. So I've been kind of looking at that and picking some things up. So, of course, now I have all that in the craft room. Uh, so when I say I needed to get these things off my floor, I was not kidding. Okay, let's see if this worked a little better again this one little spot I gotta fix so I'm just kind of wiggling this off Oop. okay and I'm going to put this back on my paper because um, I'm not going to waste it. All right. So with this, let me throw a few in there. All right, let's open up this one. And these little shapes are just so cute. These here, they come in this little, you know, wood organizer but um you know once you open them such as now they kind of just go everywhere so they're they work great for the uh short term but once you open it it's game over so i'm just going to kind of peel back this get rid of this little piece here all right let's open this up and, and this may not be exactly where I'm going to keep them all, but I do have two containers of these because I did love them so much. So all I'm going to do is take these. Let's put those here. And we have the eyewear, coffee, donuts, because, you know, they go together. I'm going to put those.
those there. And then these over here. And that's one package, so I won't open the other one. And then this I got from um, Dollar Store as well. So I am going to put these in there. And I'm just going to tear into these like it was Christmas morning. <laughs> All right. Now these bigger pieces I felt like would go good there. And I'll get them more organized um, as I go along, but you know, you get the idea. I'm not sure if this, there we go. He'll stay in there. Cat I think is fine. Let's see. Actually, let's move the elephants over here and then the cats lay down. What if we did cats and dogs? Will they fit? Perfect. Okay. So they do have like um, the ink on them or something so be aware of that i will fix these two little knobs here i'm going to kind of push the um, vinyl into them but i'll do that later so here's my wood shapes okay let's move on uh what do we have here so let's do um let's see i did this one let's do this fun little one here now this here is going to be used for my rhinestones. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, uh, let me get this open. So this is really a, a, you know, pill organizer in a way. And I'm going to repurpose it for rhinestones. So I, what I did was I went ahead and I did all the letters. And so it'll be for these. If you, again, if you watch my craft room tour, I have a bunch of these sheets that while they are packaged nicely, um, they're kind of bulking up and I just felt like they would do better in here. So we have, I'm gonna try and get this right. So we have blue, we're gonna do it in the color of the rainbow. Now the last one I'm not gonna do because it's either gonna be black and I'm actually maybe the last three, only because I have pink and there's not enough spots on here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and clean off my top. And there's my alcohol. Just going to give it each, each one a little rub. Okay. Give that time to dry. And then I'm going to go through and make sure my letters are on here. So let's move that aside. Burnish my letters on. So all I'm gonna do, let me make sure that's dry. They're already on transfer tape. Again, white permanent gloss. So I'm gonna go ahead, and cause the letters are so small, it was a bit challenging, but um, I can make this work. Okay, here is red. We're on film. I just want, or I always say on film. I meant um, in view. So here's red. Just gonna do a little burnishing. The nice thing about the permit is you can almost rub over it with your finger and it would stick. That's the nice thing. There's red. How cute is that? Um, I just need a little piece of my transfer backing to put these on because yes I'm going to keep them <laughs> so after um my you know unexpected dentist let's see does it go it goes this way uh it's just been a fumble to get back in the groove red orange so it's been a bit of a challenge but this is the start you know it's Ever since the weekend, you know, ever since I put the tree up, it's been a bit of a struggle bus just to get back in the groove. Because then there was appointments, not just for me, but, you know, appointments that I had to do. And um, then there was the dentist, which, you know, our dentist is really nice, but I'm not a fan. I don't like going to the dentist. Um, so, you know, it was just one of those things. And then... I've been trying to do this, and now I'm so, 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 so glad 
that this will be off of my floor and these items will be better organized. That gives me great joy because this was needed. So we have yellow. And it really doesn't take a whole lot to get these to um, burnish on because permanent works really quick and fast. So make sure when you place it, it's where you want it. We keep that. We're going to do green. I think my first... So I had had Cricut for a while before I ever started using it. And what really thrust me into using it and learning it um, was I was doing things for my mother's funeral, which again, I posted a few of the crafts that I did um, for that day on the blog in case they were, you know, you were interested or someone else came across it, you know, you might have wanted to do something similar. And, um, and that was, you know, it was a learning curve, but it was nice not because of what I was doing it for, but because of um, it being who I was doing it for. But boy, it was like, it was a struggle at first because I had had it, but I hadn't done anything with it. Um, so now that I know it, you know, as it goes, now I'm doing everything. I cricket everything. If it can be cricketed, I cricket it. <laughs> Even planners, I did that too. <laughs> All right, so these, and then I will throw in a few of these blue ones just so you can see what I'm talking about. And I'll do one more here. And the nice thing about the squeegees, you can, the softer squeegees, you can go back over them and just kind of make sure they're on there the way you want um, before finishing you know, and not have to worry about scratching the vinyl. So that's the other nice thing. I know I'm off the uh, off view pulling these off of their backer, but uh, so we got red, orange, yellow, green, blue. This will be purple. And then I'm not gonna do the last two right yet. I'm gonna put that aside. I'm gonna table it for now. And then this can go here, save those, um, the transfer tapes. I mean, I've used them for even something as small as like little stars of sorts. So um, definitely save them. Okay, so let's see. These two, so that I don't lose them, I'm going to put them off to the side now. All right. And then we have the blue. This one's been used, right? Now, these are rhinestones that I picked up from um, uh, Michael's. And actually, as I was about to put it down, I didn't realize these had stickies on the back. So this is not the best example. I thought I was going to be able to get these into this container, but I do have loose non-sticky rhinestones these are not it so i'm gonna set those aside but you get the idea and move this over here because i'm going to keep piling up these things up here and this will now hold all of my rhinestones okay moving on got a lot more still to do um so this is a fun little carry craft caddy let's say and let's see is this going to come off nicely sometimes the tags don't always come off nicely good it did all right so it's just a small craft caddy and i'm going to again rub down the edge now in my rotating one of the rotating craft caddies i have on my desk um I do have my glue gun, but I saw this little caddy and I thought, you know, it would be nice because then 
I can always have the glue sticks nearby as well, or a couple spares. Um, so I will show you what I'm going to do after. So what I did was I just kind of cut the shape of a glue gun, burnishing it on, and then I'm going to put it on this end here. I looked for, there were a few images for the um, glue sticks, but I, I don't know, they weren't resonating with me, so I decided not to do anything with those. <laughs> so this, so what I did is I pieced together two pieces of transfer tape, if you couldn't see that, um, because I needed one big enough to do the job, and I didn't have one. So that one's going to get tucked up under there a little bit. So I'm going to rub it on just to make sure it's where I want it. I mean, I have, this is just one of many uh, things I want to label, organize, or, you know, get done for my craft room. So, you know, I have so many things I need to label for my planners and just the supplies for it. It's just, you know, it's never ending. Okay, so let's see if I can get this off now. And I'll show you, see how cute is that? <laughs> I love that. So what I did, if you're running short on like a, a size that you need, is all I did was I put two pieces of transfer tape together to make the piece that size that I needed. Just so I can show you. So here's this adorable little glue gun. So now, make sure I'm in frame for you. Now I'm going to be able to, sorry about that. I'm going to take my glue gun. I'll be able to put it in here. And I will kind of contain my cord over here. And then... I can take some of the loose glue sticks that I had and I can pop them in here. And now I have handy all of the things I need for my glue gun craft. And as you know, I will probably tuck this in, if you've seen the craft you room video, I'll probably tuck this into one of the Kalex shelves where I have all my Cricut machines. And then that frees up space in my rotating caddy. All right, let me keep moving on because I have quite a bit. This has been a long standing one that I needed to get done. So this is a index card um, uh, spiral. So it has all these index cards on it. It has tabs if you need tabs. So what I decided to do was um, I'm using this to catalog my ink from all my markers. You know, the thing that I'm always testing on film or on camera when I need to find a certain color. Well, now I'll have it in here. I'm going to do something up front, but just to show you. So here's like I did. I have a page for reds, oranges, yellows, greens. So these are all my Tombow. And I'm going to label this tab Tombow. So the first thing I'm going to start with is this front cover. So I'm going to take off this little um, decorative sheet, or I'm not sure what, UPC sheet. <laughs> that just easily pulled right off. And I'm going to tuck in, I pre-cut, again, just to save some time. I think I'm going to do this way. And... I'm going to tuck this in. I think the only thing is I was looking through for things that I wished was that this matched this more or reverse. This was more this color, but they didn't have it. So all I did was put in this pretty little paper and I have some Cricut, of course. I am going to burnish this down. Again, white permanent. I do need to wipe that 
top though. So let me do that before I go and do this and mess it up. And it has like this little plastic film over it. So it's kind of a protective film. All right. Let that dry while I am working on this. So I'm going to go ahead and get this off. There are two words I'm using on here. Um, so I need to make sure that I leave room for both. So let's see. I'll get them both ready to go on and then I can measure that a little bit better. And it's going to say marker color charts. All right. So here's marker. Set that aside. Let's make sure color charts is ready to rock and roll. Okay. Here we go. And if you just roll the film back, it usually is pretty good about sticking down because you're kind of like almost popping that vinyl down onto the transfer tape. So if you really had to, you could get away with standard grip transfer tape. But again, if you're using a permanent, you, you know, here's the thing. You really shouldn't use strong bond tape unless it's on something that you know won't get ruined. So like something like this, it's plastic. Okay, is this dry? Feels like it. All right, so to make sure I get a good grip on this, I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. Now I'm going to do two words. Ooh, that almost went down the wrong way. Okay. And the nice thing is I'm not overly worried about whether it's truly straight straight, only because um, it's kind of, you know, it's more organic. It's not like it's a memory page or or that I was purposely trying to make it organic but I like the fact that it just has like that little something that it's not perfect let's say sometimes we gotta let go of being perfect in everything we do everything we say everything we look um and just uh go with organic all right this should come off Fairly easy. All right. Um, I seem to be running out of my little transfer tape backing. I don't know where it went. So I'm kind of just lining them along my desk. Okay. Now, right above it, I'm going to put marker. And again, try and get it straight. Okay. I'm satisfied. Yeah, the nice thing about permanent is it does go down pretty easy. There's usually not much um, burnishing required. And again, I'll hold on to this transfer tape. I'm going to have to find my backing. Okay. So how cute is this, right? That gives you a little bit better angle without the glare of the plastic on there. Marker charts. And then, since I had already done this one, I had already done them with Tombow. I, had a, I printed from my, um, my Dymo label maker. Had to think about that for a minute. Just a small label to label it as Tombow. And I'll do that for each of the tabs um, as I get through them. My more important ones that I wanted to get tested was the Tombow. Just because I'm forever, you know, testing, retesting them. And now, let me get this on and then I can give you some tips as to why this worked out so nice. Or why I wanted this for my color chart. So, you know, it's nice to put together those planner pages that have the color chart. I'm all for that. My only issue was 
it wasn't entirely functional for me, meaning um, I could now, I can take this and I could throw it in my purse and I'm at, you know, wherever, Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, looking at Tombos because they're on sale. I can now pull out and find out exactly which one I have. Not only can I throw this in my purse, I can also pull this out. It's easy. I can see which color is what so that I can go ahead and get that onto my planner page that I'm doing for you. So that's why I loved this one. I am running out of a little bit of space. We'll kind of tuck this one off to the side over here. Okay. It's a bit of a glare, but you get my point. Okay. So I have two of these containers. It's basically a pencil box. I'll take that label off later. Um, I picked up a teal and a pink. I'm going to do the pink in a little bit. But uh, for this one, let me go ahead and while I'm chitty chatting, I can have this dry. Um, I'm going to do my lid. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put it, but let me do the whole area here with a little bit of alcohol. Get all the oils off of it. Ooh, should be easy enough now. Okay. So this one is going to be bows. And what I have are these, and I'll put them in there as I'm doing this. As I'm doing this. Okay. So what I have are all these bows. These are just some of them. I just wanted to give you the idea of what I was putting in here. But I do have these currently sitting in a um, plastic organizer bin that I picked up, I think, from Target. And I kind of wanted to, the issue was just that, you know, if you drop it, there's bows everywhere. And I'm not lying, I have dropped things and it's been a mess. So, what I wanted to do, and again, it's a dollar store find, it's not perfect, but it works. Um, so, I pieced together three pieces of transfer tape. Now, as I said, there's that little spot. So I'm going to kind of put this so that it's right in the middle. Again, won't be perfect, but it will do. Now, because this is, you know, not a super heavy duty plastic, I'm going to kind of open this as I burnish it. Uh, just so that it's not going to break it. Because I do want to press a little bit hard, uh, make sure I get all of those bubbles out. And this, I think, is one of the last ones. Let's see. We have... This is seven, right? I feel like I'm missing something. I'm going to have to take a quick peek. Let's see about getting this off. I think for my last one too, um, I'm gonna have to piece together some transfer tapes because I don't think I have a piece big enough. I'm more wondering, where are my, and there are some parts on here Again, I will do this off camera because it's, uh, and I will use this squeegee to do it. There's just a few bubbles, but I now have a container for bows. See what I mean? I'm running out of space. So this is the pink one, and this is going to hold all my extra office pen and pencils. Um, I do have quite a few that are um, kind of hanging around. You know, I do have my markers and things, my art things closer, but things like these office pens were um, kind of in the way in a drawer and they just kind of flopping around. And so I just thought, well, you know what? I'll just do a cricket on them, right? So I'm gonna put the bottom one first. So I have it it's saying pens and pencils and I got to do the pencils first because uh, this one is 
um, kind of where that's going to tell me where to put the pens vinyl okay that was a bit challenging so I had to um, and see like it's not perfect it's a little bit wonky but I need this to close so that I can get my angle that I'm working on I'm gonna take one of the better newer hopefully this will work it just about fits I'll try and be aware of that this isn't quite fitting the vinyl the uh, transfer tape but I'm gonna see if I can make it work <laughs> again we're getting on in time I wanted to show you these things because you know this is the point of planning you know it planning is where you're doing what you need to for your life to get your life organized in order um, you know better prepared more on time whatever you use your planning for that is the point of planning for me it was about organizing too so hence the video I just got to make sure I don't lose this one has the eye in it so I got to make sure I get my dot all right so here we go and again I use the same font throughout all because um, again I have my little divot I need to be aware of so I am just measuring to make sure I can get that I can miss that divot so I'm gonna press this down um, I was concentrating on this and I forgot what I was saying to you I apologize <laughs> again it's one of those weeks is it just me or you know you get in start getting over into holiday time and you're like taking a nap in your head <laughs> it's just what we do right and this I need to make sure it gets burnished down I am right at the edge of the curve because if I remember correctly this was going to be um, pretty close meaning the two words I had to break it up and cut it separately because it was the space I overestimated the space I had available so this one here is going to be How cute. All right, I've got one more. Okay, so now, so here's pens and I need to get this centered and put so that, I probably could have brought pencils up a little more, but that's okay. It's not breaking the bank. I think I'm straight. Let's rub that in. And you can see I have like an extra long piece of transfer tape. That's okay. I mean, I'm just going to put it right back on the backing and reuse it. So I think I should have pre done these. These are very awkward to try and work with. All right, let's see how it came out. Look at how cute is that. Okay, last one. Thank you for sticking with this for so long. Um, it's helped me to get some of these things done and organized. Okay. I have that. The last thing I have is this. Okay, so these might be, you know, you might be familiar with these because they are, you know, like you tuck your coupons in, you know, kind of old school. <laughs> Uh, did, does any stores even take coupons anymore, like paper coupons? Um, okay, that was a sidebar. So I have about eight of these. I have two pink and five mint. So I have a mixture. I'm going to peel these labels off. These are the last two in my projects that I was going to do. 
my organization projects. Um, for this video anyway, I can't say my last because it's truly not my last. I'm going to get some alcohol on here. Okay. I'm going to get these wiped down. I am going to label the front. And this is going to, these here are going to be two parts. So I'm only going to get to the first part today. But, my apologies for the camera jiggling. Um, okay, so it's going to be a two-parter. Here's why. Let me get out one of the things. These particular, uh, when I saw these in store, the first thing I thought about was how fun will they be to use for die cuts, right? I have die cuts. I have a system in place, but it actually is quite bulky. And in the manner that I have it, again, you, you, I may have opened that drawer during, briefly during the craft room tour, but, um, oops, I'm, I'm off here doing this, uh, but I need to get that letter stuck down. My letters aren't coming off as well. Um, again, you may have seen it in the video, but I have, it is the, um, I'm not sure what it's called. I think it's a photo organizer. It came from Michael's and, and it's worked thus far, but what I'm finding, oh, you know what I just did? I cut them in white. I can't use them. They're not going to ship. Yes, I can't use them. Well, look at that. I done messed that up. Anyhow, I am going to show you. <laughs> Let me put this back on here. After all that I did that. Okay. This is, you know, some of what happens. You know, you do. I just somehow I was on, I was doing both and I just didn't cut the right vinyl. So I am going to just, um, I'm going to tell you what I was going to do. And then on another video, I will show them to you. So I'm going to need to cut these out in black. And I'm going to put on the lid above the snap, the die cuts. So this will say die cuts. And then I will cut again in vinyl. So there's a little bit of a strip here. It's probably like a quarter inch high maybe. I'm going to put in here what type of die cut it is. So my thought initially was I'm going to do, I'm going to separate these out by um, like maybe season or like say coffee or something. So for example, let me bring that out. So here, let's say, let's say I did it right. Correct? <laughs> let's just, let's just go with that. So here are some coffee die cuts. I have some beach uh, florals. I could do coffee. This is all coffee. Okay, coffee themed. Uh, and these are coffee. So to, to show you what I was going to do. So in one of them, I can do, say this is going to be coffee themed. So here it's going to say die cut. And here in small font, it's going to say coffee. And then in each of the pockets, I can just slip in small journal cards, die cuts, or anything of that nature. I can put journal cards in one side. I can put little coffee cups in another, you know, such as that, right? I think you got that picture. And then if I needed to, I can go through and label these half, I can call them half moons. There's like uh, five. So there's always that option to also label those just like this. But that was my plan for these. And then I measured. These also will fit perfectly in the um, Recollections and Kalax drawers. So I'm sad that I didn't get that cut correctly. But uh, I think you understand what I was. my goal was. So... Eight crafts, eight ways to organize, um, two little mess ups, <laughs> uh, but there's eight things.
things from the dollar store that you can get to help you organize your craft room and um, get anything you need to and you know better organize for you working for you for your space um, here's my clean and dirty and then also my sequin holder which I'll toss them in there for the picture and I'll fix the these for the picture but there you have it so here's eight projects from the dollar store that you could use to help organize your craft room even if you don't use them in the way that I used them they may be useful for you to see how I what I've done and how I've done it then and it may help you organize your room so I hope I have inspired you to do something creative today and every day and to create your beautiful life one craft or one plan at a time thank you for watching